Now let me show you how to convert weights and weights per volume using the Construction Master Pro. Keep in mind if you're using the trig model or the desktop model, the keystrokes will be exactly the same. This feature gives you fast, accurate solutions for weight conversions and weight per volume conversions. Let me show you how to enter weight to begin with. Say you've got 25 pounds, 25, and over the 4 key, the second function is pounds. So I hit convert to 4, enters it as 25 pounds. Say I want to convert that to kilograms. Convert over the 1 key, it says kg, converts that to uh, 11 point something kilograms. Um, you can enter directly metric tons. For instance, say I've got 12.5 um, metric tons over the 3. Convert 3, it says metric tons. Now let's convert that to U.S. short tons, 13.77, or convert that to pounds back over the 4 key here. A whole lot of pounds there. Uh, you can also convert weights per volume. So say you've calculated or you know a certain volume. You've calculated you need 7.5 cubic yards of sand, let's say. 7.5 yards once, yards twice, three times makes it cubic yards. Now we, we want to convert that to tons. So convert over the 6 key, it says tons. 11.25 uh, tons. I can also convert that to pounds if I like over the 4 key. 22,500 pounds. That's based on the default uh, weight per volume. You can always see that by hitting recall over the zero key. It says weight per volume. And our stored default is 1.5 tons per cubic yard. If you have a different material that's denser or heavier or even lighter, you can change that default very easily and recalculate your weight based on whatever volume that you need. So that's a quick overview on the weight and weight per volume functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.